Hi, this is Julie Campbell, and I'm here to show you how to convert some files to use as a print and cut feature with your silhouette. These are some files that I downloaded from Studio Calico. They are a digital file that comes in a PDF format. Although you can import PDF files directly into the Silhouette software, I've discovered that it usually results in a somewhat fuzzy or not quite as crisp image when I do it that way. So what I like to do is I open the PDF in my Photoshop program and then just convert that file into a ping file instead. You can also work with um, JPEGs in the silhouette very nicely too. It just seems like the PDF files themselves just um, don't work quite as well. If you don't have Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, I know there are some programs online that will convert files for you. So you might want to try doing a Google search and finding a program that would work for you. Of course, you can always print PDF files and then cut these images by hand, but I found that using the silhouette is just nice. Um, it's just a lot easier, especially when you're working with circular or um, intricate cuts. It's just easier to have the machine do the cutting for you versus cutting with a pair of scissors. Once you've converted your file and saved it to your computer, you can go ahead and open up your Silhouette software. Once the program is open, just look under File and Open and find the area where you saved your file. And that should go ahead and bring your images up onto the screen. If you've used the Trace feature before, it's pretty easy. I'm just going to go ahead and select an area that I want to trace. And I'm starting with these very colorful images because they're a lot easier to work with. I unclick the high pass filter button and I move the threshold up to 100% then select trace outer edge and as you can see those trace perfectly and now um, that area will print and cut. I'll, I'll just show you this one more time. This image is also easy to do so we'll just move that up, trace outer edge and we have that part finished as well. But some of the images are a little bit trickier, especially the ones that are light in color. So I like to just select the shape tool from this side and just drag and pull the shape until it fits um, the journaling card size nicely. Once you have that size, you can actually just um, go up to edit and copy and paste that again if you have several different shapes that are the same size. Whoops, let me move that back here. Um, as you can see, you can just move that over and use it here again. Um, so that's something easy that you can do. If you um, are used to using rounded journaling cards for your project, you can also select the round rectangle tool. So I'll just show you that here really quickly. Um, it just creates a, a nice rounded corner on each of the four corners of the journaling card there. Um, so I'm just, I'm trying to get a hold of this shape so that I can show you how to change, if you wanted to change um, the size of your curves there, you can move your points out like that and it will um, adjust all four corners at the same time. But I just want to have the plain rectangle straight corners, so I'm just um, putting that shape back in place. So down below there are some similar rectangular shapes so um, I'm just going to do what I did before here and just click and drag creating some rectangles and then once I have one I can just click and copy and paste that over and over um, and then it makes it a little bit easier than creating a new shape for each one of these images. So here I'm just using my quick tool feature to make lots of those at once and then I will move those into place.
So now I have cut lines for each of my images, but I don't want the cut lines to shift and move away from the printable shape in the future when I'm editing things. So I just selected everything and I grouped the images together so that the cut line and the printable shape are basically one image now. I'm going to show you now how to separate the images so that you can maneuver them and manipulate them a little bit easier. So I've just grabbed the knife tool and as you can see I messed up there. Um, selected the knife tool and holding the shift key down you'll get a nice straight line and then just double click and as you can see now it has cut the um, images apart. When I cut I like to start my cut pretty far away from the image itself and extend it um, a good distance beyond. It just makes sure that you are actually cutting all the way through that ping file, even the parts of the image that you can't see. So if you're having trouble um, cutting things apart, you want, might want to just try to extend your cut line and see if that helps. So you can just continue to cut your images apart. You can actually do each one singularly if you'd like to, but um, I think you kind of see where we're going with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select my, um, show my registration marks so that this image can be printed. And I'm changing my paper size to letter size to fit my printer. You'll now see some grayed out areas at the top and bottom left corners of my page. And those are the areas that you do not want to place any part of your image in because the silhouette will not recognize those printable images that are in that grayed out area. So just avoid that. So this image is now ready to be sent to the printer. So you can go ahead and select that print button there at the top and I would just click here to print. It would print in my printer and then I would load it into my Silhouette software to cut. So I hope that cleared up a few questions you might have had about how to use a JPEG, PDF, or ping file and convert that to a print and cut using your Silhouette software. Thanks for watching.